Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be talking about talking about that's how I always start my videos I'm going to be having a discussion video and today I wanted to talk about book buying book buying bans how many books you own your TBR pile all that sort of stuff so let's jump right into it right into this video I just want to say that I'm hoping to do a Q&A in the near future so if you have any questions for me please leave them in the comment section down below or tweet them to me maybe I'll put a hashtag on the screen who knows I don't know um, but yeah I thought it'd be fun there's a lot of new people here and I'm slowly getting up to 9k so I might be there by the time this goes up I don't know but thank you guys so much for that of course and yes yeah, so I wanted to do a Q&A so I'm just letting you guys know about that and you can leave me comments down below if you have any questions for me Basically, getting into this discussion I decided to talk about book buying bans and I've tweeted about this before but you don't if you don't follow me on Twitter links down below um, but I've talked about this before how book buying bans are just so unrealistic to me I can't do them like when I go I've done this before actually when I've gone like a month without buying books as soon as it's over I'll buy like 20 so what was the point of that ban someone explain and like you have to ask yourself what is the point of your ban like is it to decrease your TBR pile? Is it to save money? Is it for both? Um, is it because you don't have enough space? Like, it could be any of those. Um, but you should know, like, why you want to go on a ban. Recently, I kind of stopped making book hauls just for the reason that I get a lot of books. Like, I don't, I, I buy a lot of books. Like, this is where I spend my money. This is what I do when I'm stressed. I either read or I buy books which is not a good habit is to go buy books every time I'm upset because that's like all the time I have to remember is that I'm out of space and if you guys don't know I had another shelf here I tweeted about it I just realized that you guys don't follow me on Twitter probably like what are you talking about new shelf but yeah I got another one of these over here and it's awful like all of these shelves are fully packed <laughs> so when I get new books I have to like squeeze them in but it, it is a problem and there's some people who have just as many books as I do and I kind of had a crisis last night because I realized I owned about a thousand books like roughly a thousand like in my room it doesn't look like that much but like one of those sh bottom shelves alone has like 65 so it's not that surprising that I have that many and then the manga there's like just 13 like just stacked like this like mm. <laughs> so like I have a lot of books so it's like, Julie, why don't you go on a ban? Or why have you been buying so many books that you haven't been doing book hauls and that you've been just throwing them in your vlogs? And sometimes I don't even show them in my vlogs because I am embarrassed. But, um, and I feel bad. Recently <laughs> we've had Christmas, we've had Black Friday, we've had Boxing Day here in Canada. So there's been a ton of deals. And when there's deals, I get emails. <laughs> so I go, oh, it's on sale. I'll probably buy it anyways. And I don't want to buy it full price, so I'll buy it now. And then the, the book, the book pile just keeps coming <laughs> and it was only until last night that I realized how many books I owned how many books I haven't read yet which I've read over half so like I'm proud um <laughs> but there's still like around 300 books out of the thousand that are unread on my shelves okay, I need to get on that you know but um what I was making this video to kind of talk about it is book buying bans I think they're unrealistic if you can go on a ban and not buy anything for five months I am so proud <laughs> of you good for you I wish but this is like what I do when I'm upset <laughs> and stress buying is not fun for the space uh, for myself because then I feel bad later and for my wallet <laughs> kind of come up with a system here and I know it's gonna be unrealistic for me to say you're not buying any books the rest of the year Julia that ain't gonna happen honey like mm. but I kind of came up with some guidelines for myself and I thought I'd share them with you guys so that if this is for people who buy like 10 books a month at least so if you buy like a few a month you're fine leave this video <laughs> like three questions to like ask myself when I am buying books so first is can I get it somewhere cheaper for the money aspect of things thing I'll read in the next six months I have this tip here that says add a to buy shelf on Goodreads. Oh yes. So my on Goodreads I have a to purchase shelf. So then when I do, um, I'll talk about like when I'm allowing myself to buy books, but when I am able to buy books instead of being all spontaneous, which is fun sometimes, but I want, I'm having this to buy shelf on my Goodreads so that I know what books are on my wish list that I want to get. And then especially if like anyone wants to get you a gift, you can just send them the link. <laughs> but anyways. 
So my goal is to read five books by one. Obviously, sometimes I might skip this. Like I might read five and then not buy anything, but like that's going to be a goal. And I think that's a good boundary for people who read about 20, 20, 15 books a month is you, you can buy like three. Um, and then I also have two new releases a month. So that is doable for me. I'm hoping to just buy two new releases because there's so many new releases and like I'll go crazy with new releases because I'm like I need them all and then they just sit there but I'm like dying to read them all so I don't get it and then for sales which this is just special occasions this is not all the time so chill for like thrift stores boxing days special holidays or like when you go to a thrift store when the books are on sale or when you're shopping on book outlet limit yourself to three to five books when they're that cheap just try because I know how tempting it is to go into like a thrift store see a bunch of books and buy 20 and leave very easy to do go through this you can make your rules stricter you can set more things or maybe you'll just stop buying books because you don't feel like it or you'll be like Ugh. so yeah and then I also have a few things so delete your bookstore apps which I know those get you like I have my indigo chapters app on my phone and when I have nothing to do I'm just on it scrolling looking at the deals of the week no <laughs> get off indigo chapters site I don't know if there's a Barnes and Noble app or other bookstores that have apps but if they do delete them for now please this is optional but maybe you want to unsubscribe to those mailing lists from bookstores so then every time there's a new sale or like every time there's a new book out you don't get an email and you're like I need it some like restrictions that I'm kind of wanting to set for myself along those lines basically I'm just sharing with you guys so like if you guys want to follow along or you want to try some of these things out yourself feel free to let me know down below and I'm mostly doing this because I realized how many books um, I buy a month which is ridiculous like I will buy 20 books uh, uh, no, I'll buy 10 books from Book Outlet and then I'll go to Indigo and I'll buy another 10 books because they're on sale and then if I pop another thrift store I'll leave with another five and then before you know it I'm le I end the month with like 30 books which I'm not the only one who does that so don't kill me but yes so I'm doing this mostly for I'm going on this kind of ban for space is one two money um, three is um, my TBR books which I don't usually care but when you have so many books you haven't read yet you kind of are like like I kind of am like I want to read all of these so bad but like I don't know which one to read next so then I just buy new books and I read those <laughs> and it's like what am I doing like, there's so many exciting books here like scar tissue side effects may vary like amount of so discreet I haven't read like there's just so many good books on my shelf and I'm hoping to do a video showing you guys all my TBR books if you guys want it but yes that is my video for today and by the way if you are seeing this loser thing it says the losers club it's from it okay um i got this at hot topic before everyone asks me in the comments um thank you guys so so much for watching let me know your thoughts down below obviously i'm gonna be pretty like i'm gonna sometimes i'm gonna be strict with myself and then sometimes i'm gonna be like julia chill um but i think one count your tbr books and count how many books you own and kind of go from there or if money's a concern for you etc like i talked about it all it's fine okay i'll see you guys super soon with a new video thank you guys so much for watching bye oh that was a new one